All right. Well, to take this story a little bit further, you'll know that the background to this was that uh, the EFF had said to students, uh, particularly uh, after the uh, announcement by the president of uh, the uh, uh, free fee uh, education uh, for 2018 for the first years, they said, please go to the universities, even though the universities had said, don't do it. Uh, the EFF called for all people that could uh, study something to go and apply and that the universities must make space for them. Well, to tell us a little bit more about uh, what happened today is Peter Keetze, who's the EFF uh, student president, uh, for student command president of all the uh, various branches of university leadership. Thanks very much for joining us. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So you called for a massive call for students to arrive and apply and do the walk-in. From the images that we saw, it didn't look like they heeded your call. Well, uh, I think, uh, first of all, we mm. should understand the reason why there was such a call. And obviously, the material objective that we seek to achieve at the end of the day. Uh, well, we said that precisely because we want to at least fill that gap of those that did not have an opportunity to apply before the announcement by the president. And uh, we have done that successfully to say people must go to the institutions of their choices. And they did from uh, today. Mm. We have seen a, a lot of numbers going to campuses. Well, uh, in other campuses, you have management that did not want to allow walk-ins. But uh, when, when time goes on and during the course of the day, you have the leadership of the student command in branches and SRC engaging with the management of the institutions. And obviously at the end, we will find uh, that your TUT, they ended up allowing work-ins, your vets, they ended up allowing the, those work-ins. And we are very happy that at least our people are going to be considered. It is going to be very unfair for me, I've, I haven't applied, I've been sitting at home without anything. Well, of course, mm -hmm. I've been attempting to apply uh, through that 350, mm -hmm. but unfortunately I get turned away at the gate mm. of the university because I never had means of mm. financing my education. All right, so what do you, I mean, look, let's, let's try and break this down. So I think Vitz University can only take 5,000. They've got 59,000 applications already, even before this week. So that even if people came, they cannot possibly accommodate any walk-ins now, even if they wanted to, because of this backlog of people who applied in time last year to the tune of 59,000. So are you not just exacerbating a problem that already exists? Well, I think it would be very much important for us to understand the real figures mm. of who are these people that they need education. Because we can't keep on fighting if we don't know really if people are interested in education. Right now, people are sleeping outside the gates of the institutions. That should show you that there is a huge, uh, a, a huge uh, interest in furthering studies in South Africa. But unfortunately, because they don't have financial means, they are unable to do so. So call, us calling a, a walk-ins like that, and of, of course we are encourage universities to take as many applications as possible. Of course, we'd have a clear direction in terms of how many universities South Africa needs in terms of the people who have interest and who have eager to, co to further their studies. We wouldn't, uh, you know, uh, prophesy or sangomize yes. that uh, people want to study while, uh, while but, people but are, we know, don't want to do that. We know if one university has a backlog of 59,000, yes. we know that we, we need at least another 10 universities. Of course. Just and, to deal and, with and I think that's, if you've listened to our press yeah. briefing, we have given alternatives in terms of this, the space and the availability of classes and whatnot. Number one, we said they must consider having night shift classes. I mean, I don't think there is nothing, anything wrong with that. Number two, in, 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 in opposed to that, you can have, a, you, of course you do have a lot of TVET, abandoned TVET colleges, abandoned uh, mm. uh, ex, uh, 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 colleges there. Mm. And they are not doing anything. They are there. I mean, even sheep and cows, goats, they sleep there. There's nothing wrong, that, uh, there's nothing that stops University of Johannesburg from adopting that particular structure, refurbish it, and then they make sure that uh, they adopt it as their own satellite mm -hmm. campus so that we allow a lot of these young people to go study there. We don't want to hear anything that has to do with space when we demand mm -hmm. this free education. 
This is a very noble cause and it makes sense, but it's, it doesn't sound like something you can solve this week. And so what are you trying to achieve this week? We, this week we are trying to uh, get as many people in the uh, in, in application process as possible. And this is for and another year of study, 2019 that is, maybe. That is precise. And we are saying that uh, we, well, we, we wouldn't tell what will happen if universities they don't accept our people, that number of people. We wouldn't uh, say that will depend then. But we, what is interesting, we had a meeting with the Department of uh, Higher Education, the Deputy Minister. I can tell you now that, that uh, uh, they, they, there is no such a thing as uh, an announcement made by Zuma, judging from what I, we have had in that meeting. There is, there is no such a thing called free education if you were sitting in that uh, meeting and really listening to those people. Number one, what came to our mind is that, mm. well, Jacob Zuma was trying to be sensational. He wanted to be spectacular in that uh, uh, conference. Perhaps we don't know. He wanted to grandstand politically in terms of mm. uh, his preferred candidate to emerge. But uh, there, there is, there's really nothing. Because there in that meeting, we tried to... To, 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 to push the department, to put us in confidence, to say, but how is this going to be done? And the way they were explaining, that really there is nothing that is changing. And of course, even if Zuma did not call for free education mm. or whatnot, we were still going to be in this situation, us as the student command, because remember, this is our own program of action. This is in, even, in fact, in one of the uh, EFF uh, uh, seven cardinal pillars. Mm. So we don't have to wait for Zuma to announce anything for us to fight. Wh whatever fight we are going to bring to government, to the institution, mm. it will be a fight that is worth it. It will be a fight that, that well, of okay. course, are we you, were formed on you, those bases. Are you not worried that violence might break out this week? Well, they said that when we called for walk-ins, they said we will cause chaos. They said there will be anarchy. But there was, no, there was none. There was nothing like that. Uh, well, we have said that anarchy can only prevail where the management of the institutions are becoming arrogant. And we have seen it at UJ, and we want to warn them. And we want those bouncers to be removed with immediate effect because they are so you serious bouncers, huge, my brother, huge, to a point where you, know, you, you will confuse them with bouncers who, who, who guard strippers, you know? <laughs> It's like UJ is a strip club now with those big bouncers. <laughs> so we don't want those people who have our own securities there. They must be able to take uh, care of us. All right. Uh, Peter Kitsi, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. EFF uh, Student Command President. So you continue to encourage the walk-ins, uh, but peacefully so. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Of course. Thank you very All much. All right. Okay. That's where we're going to leave it for now. Thanks very much indeed for watching Prime News.